Right, hello and welcome to episode 8 of Archivist Creed, where we're over-analyzing Assassin's Creed. So, okay, we don't get the cutscene again, it's good. So, we have one more uh, lieutenant or minion, whatever you want to call him, to kill before we can go after the big baddie. The Berg de Sable. Well, I shall have to read up on before we take him out. Because it would be interesting to see if he was a real figure. And now we're going after some Sibrons, which they've thought of an interesting spelling for in this game. Uh, modern spelling would be slightly different. Since he doesn't get a surname, I'm guessing he's not a real person. Or a historically existing person. Let's put it that way. Preparation is crucial to your success. Clear the area of archers and guards before confronting your assassination target. So, while we are getting the viewpoints and saving civilians, uh, let's think a bit about the piece of Eden and what all that is supposed to be about. Because Eden, of course, is, as we usually think of it, a place. So, here we have a piece of it which is then some kind of weird silver bowl. So yeah, we have a piece of a place which is some kind of physical object. Uh, could of course mean that we interpreting piece wrongly, as in piece is just referring to an object, so it's an object related to Eden, rather than an actual piece of the garden. What's even more interesting is which legends uh, Almoy Lim referred to when he talked about the Peace of Eden. She was talking about the Battle of Troy and uh, a number of Old Testament stories that the Peace of Eden supposedly was involved in. Because, yeah, it's not entirely clear and not entirely consistent what this piece of Eden is supposed to do. And of course, it might be due to, uh, you know, the legends about it not being very clear. Oops, ow. Um, yeah, Al Mulim says uh, it can control people's minds. And of course, it clearly makes it a powerful artifact. But then, in the legends he refers to, uh, in the Trojan War, the apple used by Eris, which was golden rather than silver, okay, um, that doesn't really need to have mind controlling properties, right, to start the Trojan War. Because that was just thrown in at the. Okay, let's recap that legend. Uh, there was the marriage of. Peleus and the sea god Tethys. Peleus was a Greek king, if I'm not mistaken. And they invited everybody uh, to their wedding, excepting for uh, Eris, the goddess of strife or discord. For perhaps understandable reasons, they thought she would not be so good to have at a wedding. But Eris was rather upset about this, so in the middle of the wedding festivities, she ran into the room and threw in a golden apple which said for the most beautiful and promptly Athena, Venus, sorry Aphrodite, uh, the Greek version, Aphrodite 
Hera and Athena got into an argument about who was the most beautiful. So they went to the god Zeus, and then Zeus uh, wisely decided not to get involved. And he said, well, go and ask this shep random shepherd person, who turned out to be uh, pa Paris, who was Prince of Troy. Although, people didn't know that at the time. So, yeah, uh, they went to Paris, who said, look, who of us is the most beautiful? Uh, you be the judge. Paris said, well, you're all goddesses, I, how can I possibly choose? You're all beautiful. But they weren't having that. And then they started offering bribes. Eventually, uh, Aphrodite had the winning bribe. She said, I'll give you the love of the most beautiful woman in the world. Uh, and then, years later, is when she actually made good on the promise. Uh, when she made Helen of Troy, who was actually married to uh, Enlaus King of Sparta, she wasn't Helen of Troy yet. Uh, she made her fall in love with Paris, and then Paris kidnapped her and took her back with him to Troy, and that started the Trojan War. So, the, no really need for any mind controlling properties other than the desire to be found the most beautiful, and if you kind of follow Greek mythology, uh, you would not really need mind controlling properties for that with the Greek gods. Uh, but this is supposedly uh, then in this universe a historical event, a distorted memory of an historical event, uh, where the piece of Eden was used. Uh, then we also have uh, the Garden of Eden, which was mentioned, and the story of uh, Adam and Eve being tempted by the serpent to eat of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, which God had forbidden them to do. But, uh, again there, the piece of Eden, which is then supposedly the apple, uh, doesn't really need by controlling properties, right? And in fact, in the Bible stories, we know there's nothing really to talks about as my controlling properties, it's something that if you eat of it provides knowledge. I suppose you could say that was meant metaphorically. But still, also, there was nobody who needed who was using that apple to manipulate Adam and Eve. I suppose you could, within this universe, understand it as a metaphorical story where uh, Adam and Eve stole this uh, device from some kind of previously existing godlike being, and that that's what the story of the rebellion and the fall is about. Uh, and then we have the story of Moses, where where the apple, or, or the piece of Eden, according to Al-Mulim, is capable of turning uh, staves of wood into snakes, and also parting the Red Sea. Well, turning staves into snakes you might be able to do through hallucination, if you could control people's minds. But, sorry, parting the Red Sea is a completely different kind of magic. Of course, there's nothing wrong necessarily about the piece of Eden to be able to do that as well, but it's, it's kind of a bit not really fitting in with the other themes. Uh, it's also interesting that uh, Al Mulim's It's also interesting that Al Mulim's 
explanation of uh, the Peace of Eden implies that uh, the, both the Old Testament and Greek mythology are true in the sense of that they are both uh, perhaps distorted recollections of historical events and having both of those simultaneously be true is of course also an interesting idea because of course especially uh, Judeo-Christian beliefs and uh, Muslim beliefs as well would say that uh, Greek myths are not true and certainly not about anything that is worthwhile being called a god So, at least in this game, they're a bit inconsistent about what this piece of media is really supposed to be all about. But maybe we'll find out more. I've already lost. I don't think so, German guy. Pretty impressive being able to free run like that in chainmail. This place is restricted. Be gone. Restricted. Surely the church is open to all. Pretty, but it's no Damascus. Pretty cool that they've uh, shown the Crusaders as being a mix of uh, different European. Nations. here. Thank you. I only wish my sons were half as brave as you. I'll see to it that they hear this tale and know what it is to be a true hero. Just a few boys, please. I beg of you, just a few boys. 
Oh. Why is he doing that? Is that man thing? Leave this place. Leave, peasant, before I make you. Who are you calling a peasant? You're a longbowman. That means you're probably a peasant yourself as well. I didn't save me, okay, I'll just kill you then. settings correctly.
Trancher la main. Tu as un problème Répète-moi si vous m'apercevez. Here we go. Here. Some pretty thick walls. Keep on wondering whether the school knows are distorted or not. If not, it's pretty impressive building. I did, by the way, look up what those flags are for, and uh, they're just for bragging rights. This place is restricted. Be gone.
No, 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 no. Right, fine, now we're trying to be fancy.
not it's supposed to be, to be here. Leave. No reason to be here. Leave now. <laughs> Assassin, over here. <laughs> 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 Long wall, but obviously isn't. This on the other hand. One day you get to this fire to refill it. Also here, please not fall into the water. Thank you very much. You, you could have killed me. I'm just an old man. Smoothly. here. I suppose it could have been. You know, I associate the more to the guild representative at the court of the chain. Fourth Eastern Crusades so in what we now call Lithuania. Is now under the jurisdiction of Master Sibran, exalted leader of the Knights Teutonic. Oh, crew members are to be turned over to the order. Oh. Does like sound like Master Sebrand was someone who might have actually existed. No dear. Oh, 
Oh, running away, getting your buddies, please. Thank you very much. So, is there actually gates? So, yeah. I get sections. Seriously, dude, what is your problem? All ships turned off the Teutonic Order. Wow. Wow. Complaints and concerns must be presented to the guild representative at the court of the chain. Failure to comply will result in Guild representative? Which guild would that be then? Vessels must be cleared of crew and cargo. Captains are to present themselves to a representative from the Teutonic Order for reassignment. Any attempt to maintain possession of a claimed vessel will be punished severely. Yeah, it does not sound like something that Teutonic Order would have be able to just do in real life. I mean, even then, Robson Orr is quite strict. Establish a perimeter. For what? Does Salah ad Din intend to strike from sea? No, it's not he we defend against, but ships from home to deny Richard more troops. Why would one of Richard's own want to see him weakened in this way? I don't know. Ask Sibran. They're his orders. I'm just meant to carry them out. Now, please, let me go. I've told you all I know. I'm sorry. I cannot risk you telling him I'm here. <laughs> Oh, at least he apologized. That was nice of him, I guess. Okay, I guess uh, nothing is true, everything is permitted. Uh, means we don't have to count him as an innocent. Did you fight your way in? Oh, perhaps I should be more respectful, as I myself now require your help. I spent too much time in the harbor brothel last night and insulted a Teutonic knight's wife, or so I am told. Now there is a group of them after me. Could you give me a hand or a blade? If you return before I leave the city, I will give you the benefit of my wisdom. Benefit of your wisdom. Well, I'm sure that'd be helpful. Mm. 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 
through that before. On your own, yes. How in the heck do you have to, guys have to recognize me? Not fair. Not fair. more like it. No, so you're annoying. Do you? All right then. Ah. <laughs> oh, th three. Ready? Okay. Just the principle that one. Not here. Will you please jump into the? Thank you.
There we go. You are a lucky man. You are alive, and I am still an Akka. Here is what I have to tell you. The only thing more dangerous than a drunken sailor is one who is also angry. I know it does not seem like much, but with your wisdom, I am sure it will help. Yeah, that was super useful. Thanks for that. Very useful piece of wisdom that was. <sighs> Running is suspicious now. Really? And how's being God's vengeance playing out for you, huh? I'm reminded why I travel over the rooftops. Don't mind me. Yes, you were. You tell him I said no. I won't have you damn soldiers poking about in my business. Listen here, old man. No, you listen to me. This is my property, not his. I don't care if Christ himself put the man in charge. He isn't asking. It's in order. <laughs> That's rich. The man couldn't order his way out of a burlap sack. I've seen the mess he's made at the docks. I won't let him ruin mine. Just read the letter. You'll see his terms are quite generous. I grow tired of this. Look, I'll consider what he has to offer, but I doubt it'll change my mind. Now go on, get out of here. Seriously, dude. Oh, uh, that's not loud. <sighs> Huh. <laughs> 
He's gonna hurt himself. And when he... You! Yes, you! I recognize those hopes. Stay your blade, I mean you no harm. It's your help I need. I've crossed the man, and now he seeks my life. The details are unimportant, just know that he deserved it. See me safely to the city gates, and I'll make it worth your while. Leave now, or I make you. should be safe now. Ah, yes, the reward I promised. Here you are. This map has served me well in the past. Hopefully, it will do the same for you. So bad till he decided to make the port his home. He's planning something at sea. That's why he came here. Planning what? What's the meaning of this? The two of you off in a corner, whispering, plotting? Nothing of the sort. We were only. Only what? What secrets are you keeping? You misunderstand. Damned assassins, they're probably here right now, watching us. Do you find this amusing? Do you? Well, laugh while you can! Double the patrols! Which ones? All of them! But we don't have the men. Find them! Recall our knights from the field if you must! Please! I wonder what happened, did they? 
You're somewhere you shouldn't be. <laughs> I hear you're looking for information on Sibran. Karm's found something you'd probably find useful. Best track him down if you want it. You have no business here. Got you. Oh. Letter earlier today. Read it over. Hopefully, it'll be a use. But that's all. Schmancy. Greetings, Altair. What news? Al Muallim has named another. He calls himself Sabrand. I am familiar with the man. Newly appointed leader of the Knights Teutonic, he resides in the Venetian Quarter and runs Akka's port. Yes, I've learned as much and more. Continue then. Sabrand is said to be consumed by fear, driven mad by the knowledge that his death approaches. He has sealed the docks district, and now hides within waiting for his ship to arrive. This will make things dangerous. I wonder how it is he learned of your mission. The men I've killed, they are all connected. Al Muallam warned me that word of my deeds has spread among them. Be on your guard, Altair. Altair. Yes, Rafi. I owe you an apology. For what? For doubting your dedication to our cause. No. It was I who erred. I believe myself above the creed. You owe me nothing. As you wish, my friend. Go in safe. Indeed, the Teutonic Knights were formed in Accra, according to my trusty tablets with Wikipedia.
see if there's any... Doesn't mention a sheep grunts, is that what? No, so it looks like sheep grunts is a fictional creation. And also the Teuton Nonic Knights were not yet, if I understand correctly, a knightly order. This time. Though they were already running a hospital. But it'll take a couple more years before the Pope would formally make them a knightly order. Links uh, to the wiki on the Teutonic Knights will, of course, be in the doobly doo. Master Sibrand, I would never propose violence against any man, and, and most certainly not against you. So you say, and yet no one here will vouch for you. What am I to make of this? I, I live a simple life, my lord, as do all men of the cloth. It is not for us to call attention to ourselves. Perhaps. Or perhaps they do not know you because you are not a man of God, but an assassin! Never! You wear the same robes. If they cover themselves as we do, it is only to instill uncertainty and fear. You must not give in. Are you calling me a coward? Challenging my authority? Are you perhaps hoping to turn my own knights against me? No, 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 no. I, I don't understand why, why you're doing this to me. I've done nothing wrong. <laughs> I don't recall accusing you of any wrongdoing, which makes your outburst rather odd. Is it the presence of guilt that compels a confession? But I confess nothing. Ah, the fight to the very end. What do you mean? William and Garnier were too confident, and they paid for this with their lives. I won't make the same mistake. If you truly are a man of God, then surely the Creator will provide for you. Let him stay my hand. You've gone mad. Will none of you come forward to stop this? He is clearly poisoned by his own fear, compelled to see enemies where none exist. Can we intervene, pretty please? Seems the people share my concern. What I do, I do for Arkhan! Could have intervened and saved the guy. Be vigilant, men. Report any suspicious activity to the guard. I doubt we've seen the last of these assassins. Persistent bastards. Now get back to work. Could have killed him like ten times over. Ah. And we don't get to eagle fish. Seriously, game. Seriously. 
finira bien par te montrer. J'en suis sûr. Il n'a pas pu quitter la ville. Alors restez au taguet. Almost lost kill them. Okay. Come no further. Why? None of you will lift a hand in defense of your man. Leave this. Ah! Come on. What made you think I'd want to do that? Seriously. Take your time. When moving slowly, you reduce your chances of attraction. about things. Let me choose. Take care of you. Light is all we have. Linger a while longer then, and tell me of the part you were to play. A blockade by sea to keep the fool kings and queens from sending reinforcements. Once we. Once we. Conquered the Holy Land? Freed it, you fool. From the tyranny of faith. Freedom? You worked to overthrow cities, control men's minds, murdered any who spoke against you. I followed my orders, believing in my cause. 
Same as you. <laughs> and again, though. We are both the shape. Speech. Um. Okay, that works. Not what I was going for, but it works. Yep. Ready, guard. Uh, rooftop time. Uh, yep. Ah, near the bureau too. Excellent. Indeed, he is no longer here. If you go now, you too. So she was going to free the Holy Land. It's interesting. Altair, you've caused quite a stir. I've done Observation. A Sabran's life has ended. So it is. So it is. You should ride for Masiaf and inform Al Muallim of your success. Yes. I should return and speak to him. Of this and other things. Is everything all right, my friend? You seem distant. It's nothing, Rafiq. Just a lot on my mind. Talk to me then. Let me help. I need to make sense of this myself first. But thank you for the offer. It is the men you kill, isn't it? You feel something for them. How? Ah, my friend. You are not meant to enjoy these grim tasks. Regret, uncertainty, sympathy. This is to be expected. I should not fear these feelings. You should embrace them. They are what keep you human. What if I'm wrong? What if these men are not meant to die? What if they mean well? Misguided, perhaps, but pure in motive. I am but a Rafiq, Altair, and such things are beyond me. Perhaps Al Mualim can help you to make sense of it. Yes, perhaps. Thank you, Rafiq. It is my pleasure to have served with one as skilled as you. Taken care of. I want that progress report by tomorrow morning. <laughs> taken care of. That doesn't sound good. Some work I need to do. So you've got the rest of the night to yourself. Well, that's nice. I think there's a problem with the Animus. Nope. 
It's working fine. I'm pretty sure it just ejected me I'm when I'm pretty it... sure you should shut up. You ready to finally tell me what's going on? We have to stop them, Desmond. When they access that last memory of yours, they're just getting started. They want to change everything. The way we live, the way we think, the way we are. You've gotten the lecture from Vidic about what's wrong with the world, how we need order and discipline, so they're going to give it to us. Only we don't have a say in the matter. How? The Templar treasure. They think it... Miss Stillman? I'm here. I need you to upload Desmond's files to the database. Got it. So, what? You're using me to find this Templar treasure? What do they call it? The Peace of Eden? Yes. Well, it's looking like it's at Messiah. So I don't know why they're wasting all this time with me. Why don't they just send their people to pick it up? They can't. It's not that simple. The artifact from Messiah, they had it. It was destroyed in the accident. Then what are they hoping for me? You know, for my ancestor to tell them? They're hoping he'll show them where the other ones are. You mean there's more than one of these things? Oh, Desmond, you have no idea. Well, show me in then. <laughs> Is there a problem, Mr. No, Dolan? Warren. Everything's Denver on my end. Then, where are the files? I've got to move these files before he gets suspicious. We'll talk more later. Wait, what's that mean, everything's Denver? It means everything's fine. Why Denver? It's a reference to Denver International Airport. There's an underground facility there. It's where the accident happened. <laughs> the accidents. Oh look, she left her pen community lying around. Aren't you tired? Okay. Guess that's my cue. Okay, that was different. It's interesting, the door only locks on the inside. It's an interesting design feature for a holding cell. Oh, hang on, no, 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 no. Not what I meant. If there's anything new in Lucy's email, cheated <laughs> items. This is a lot of text. So, you didn't throw on the at the international airport events. 20 accidents, site of launch. Ok. 
okay. Let's launch the yeah, transmit of artifacts. Extension condition for transfer five years ago. And it's just for the control everything. Well, not with a single launch because from Neo you can't cover the entire Earth because of how geometry works, but that still doesn't sound good. Which means everything are mines. Hmm. What about Desmond? Usually there's another artifact, so I guess they need. Yeah, so you said there are more of them. Does he know about us? No. Excepting I was apparently in extra session, which I knew. Now, can you send rescue? It's kind of hidden in the spam of this conversation. Interesting. Lucy is uh, with the us, whoever us are. But by this point in the story, we can certainly guess. Time's wasting, Mr. Miles. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. We're nearly done, you know. And then what? You'll see. Maybe they'll even let you watch when it begins. It's not as terrible as you think. Look, I know you're not gonna let me leave. So why not tell me what's going on? Humor me. I'm not an idiot, Mr. Miles. I think you've already learned quite a bit. I don't know what you're talking about. Of course not. All right, let me ask you something else then. Yes? Some of the stuff I'm seeing in the Animus, sometimes it seems wrong. Untrue, like the history is off somehow. It doesn't... It doesn't what, Mr. Miles? Match up with what you read on an online encyclopedia? <coughs> what your high school history teacher taught you? Let me ask you something. Do these supposed experts have access to secret knowledge kept hidden from the rest of us? There are books, letters, documents, all sorts of source material from back then. Some of it seems to contradict what the Animus is showing me. Anyone can write a book. And they can put whatever they want on its pages. Anything. <laughs> Used to be we thought the world was flat. Some people still do. Yes, and they publish books about it. Or that the moon landing was a hoax. I believe there's also a book claims the world was created in seven days. A bestseller, too. Where's this going, Doc? The point, I suppose, is that you shouldn't trust everything you hear, everything you read. What's that your ancestors said? Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Yes, exactly. It's part of what makes the Animus so spectacular. There's no room for misinterpretation. There's always room. Touché, Mr. Miles. Now that I've answered your question, can we begin? Okay, so then, yeah, it was a nice jab at anybody trying to match up their history lessons or Wikipedia with uh, the game. So close. Mr. Miles. Oh, I'd love to if it wasn't locked. When you are exposed, tackle people who are in your way to maintain momentum and utilize your sprint ability. Come in, my student. We have much to discuss. We are close, Altair. Robert de Sable is now all that stands between us and victory. It is his mouth gives the orders. His hand pays the gold. With him dies the knowledge of the Templar treasure. 
and any threat it might pose. I still don't understand how a simple bit of treasure could cause so much chaos. The peace of Eden is temptation given form. Merely look at what it's done to Robert. Once he tasted of its power, the thing consumed him. He saw not a dangerous weapon to be destroyed, but a tool. One that would help him realize his life's ambition. He dreamed of power then. Yes and no. He dreamed, still dreams, like us, of peace. But this is a man who sought to see the Holy Land consumed by war. No, Altair. How can you not see when you're the one that opened my eyes to this? What do you mean? What do he and his followers want? A world in which all men are united. I do not despise his goal. I share it. But I take issue with the means. Peace is something to be learned, to be understood, to be embraced. He would force it. And rob us of our free will in the process. Strange to think of him in this way. Never harbor hate for your victims, Altair. Such thoughts are poison and will cloud your judgment. Could he not be convinced then to end his mad quest? I spoke to him in my way through you. What was each killing if not a message? But he has chosen to ignore us. Not a convincing message to get someone to stop, I would guess. Jerusalem is where you faced him first. It's where you'll find him now. Let this final offering lend you strength. Go, Altair. It's time to finish this. Ooh, fancy sword. And even more throwing knives. So now we're ready to see the goals. Both assassins and templars want basically the same piece and better world, so we want to interpret that. The assassins place free will over attaining that goal. Which is something I can get behind. your surroundings. Safety and peace, Altair. Upon you as well, brother. Seems fate has a funny way with things. So it's true then. Robert de Sable is in Jerusalem. I've seen the knights in the sun. Only misfortune follows that man. If he's here, it's because he intends ill. I won't give him the chance to act. Do not let vengeance cloud your thoughts, brother. We both know no good can come of them. I have not forgotten. You have nothing to fear. I do not seek revenge, but knowledge. Truly, you are not the man I once knew. My work has taught me many things, revealed secrets to me. But there are still pieces of this puzzle I do not possess. What do you mean? All the men I've laid to rest have worked together, united by this man. Robert has designs upon the land. This much I know for certain. But how and why, when and where, these things remain out of reach. Crusaders and Saracens working together? They are none of these things, but something else. Templars. The Templars are a part of the Crusader army. Or so they'd like King Richard to believe. No, their only allegiance is to Robert de Sable and some mad idea that they will stop the war. You spin a strange day. You have no idea, Malik. But tell me where they've been seen. I should be after him before he slips away. Three places I can say for certain. West of here, near both a guard tower and a hospital. And to the southwest, at the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. See what you can learn. I will do the same. I'll be quick as I can. Stay safe, my friend.
Uh, just to make sure it saves that we've seen that cutscene. I'll go for this viewpoint. And on that note, it is time to end this episode. Thank you for watching and see you next time.